Right, well, welcome back to the uh, chapel at Tango Towers and we're at uh, part eight, aren't we, of the organ restoration. And as you can see, we've now got the left-hand set of rollers back in, painted, and all the bushes sorted out uh, where necessary. And you can see I've got the right-hand ones to start on, so that's where we are at the moment. We're still waiting for the calico and for the um, pull-downs to appear for the soundboard, so that's still over there. And we're competing with the um, Wednesday night net on uh, GB3 GR. Um, I've just been talking on there for half an hour. It's now 20 to nine, they're still continuing for a bit. And that's coming through the tonneau system. I've turned it down as low as I can. So what we're gonna do is put the next roller in uh, on video. So I've got it here, it's already been painted. This is one where it's still got one of the trackers uh, connected to it. And you know what, that doesn't look like, that. that's not the next one. That's the next, next one. Okay, it's this one. Now this has had a leather button put on the end. So instead of the pin looking like that, the pin looks like that because it's got a leather button shoved on it. And I think that must be to take up what we could call end float. So I may be removing that because what I've done is to make some cloths. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's really short. Yeah, I think we might be moving the, I think a better course of action would be to move up the, um, roller thing. They do have a name. Oh, that needs, the, that one's not had a bushing done. So I can't put that one in, I've missed that. That one's got a bushing in. What we're gonna do, I'm just gonna open up because I've had to change the screws from fours to sixes. So I've just got a small vice there. Correct drill for clearance. Now I don't have this many screws um, of 5 8 number 6s. I have ordered some more. Uh, I think there's 70 coming, which isn't a huge number. It should be enough. Now we're not taking any of these out, but we are taking the ones on the right out. So if these have had to be replaced, the chances are that those are going to have to be replaced. So I'm going to put one of these washers on that I've made. So I'm going to take that button off because that's, that can go in the bin. We're going to put the washer on, the cloth washer, so there's no rattling, that's what that's about. Why can't I get that on? And the reason I can't get it on is because the video camera's rolling and the tripod leg's actually in the way. Put that back in the bushing at that end. We'll see where it ends up at, at this end. Well, you know what? It ends up where those holes are. So put a, couple, a bit of grease on those screws because even though they're small ones, I want them to come out a bit more easily in 75 years time. So I'll just do that.
that's just going round and round and round. So we're going to have to, we're actually going to have to put in a piece of um, timber to block that hole. I mean, you can see it's pretty ropey. I haven't had to do this on any other, so it's typical that it's the demonstration one. Uh, I could glue in a matchstick, I suppose. That's probably the easiest uh, thing to do. So I think that's what we will do. We'll glue in a matchstick and uh, we'll come back to that tomorrow. I'll just use um, modern uh, white woodworking glue to do that. Um, we could cut a piece of dowling down to a point. Uh, that's another way to do it and hammer that in. But that's no good as it is. So that's where we are. Um, it's an awful lot of work to take these out and um, to re uh, rebush things. I'm going to show you how these are rebushed because all these need doing. They're, but it's easier to do them when they're all in one operation. So we can just put in the leather, go around with the bushing pliers, and I can probably do the whole lot in 20 minutes. Whereas if we took them out and, and we did it while it was out, you're putting tools down all the time. So we'll do it all in one operation. And I think that was always good advice from uh, Mr. Groves, my boss when I was doing my apprenticeship. So um, I'll do that and I'll see you on the next part. I've spent 28 hours on this rollerboard and all the left hand ones are in and the bushings for the pins where necessary have been renewed. This end was against the window in the church and things are absolutely dreadfully rusty at this end and we knew this, you know, having to cut screws out of the framework and so on. So um, these have had to, you can see that as we've gone along, most of these screws have come out fine and then they've had to be either forced out or drilled out or whatever. Very few, when we get to here, could be got out any other way. So you think, oh, that's ruined that piece of timber, but there's a way out of it. And the way it's done is with a piece of doweling. These are infilled with wood. Every one of those holes will be infilled with wood. And I'll actually get a pencil sharpener. It would be quicker to get do a pencil sharpener, but of course I'm doing it the traditional way with a chisel. So what we have to do is let's say we're going to fill that hole, which we are. I'm going to dip that wood in my glue and I'm going to put that in that hole. And then we'll bash that. To be honest, I should have made this shorter. And then with a chisel, nice and sharp, we are, we have done it. So now I have another sharp end. Whoops, I now have a kicked camcorder. That tripod definitely stuck its leg out at me. So just make that a bit better. And we'll do the next one. We'll do every one of these. And then we've got another sharp end, which I'm just going to make sure is even sharper. And then we'll put that in the glue. You could do this with PVA adhesive, it doesn't have to be the animal glue, but seeing as we have it going.
only have to do a couple on the other side. And you can see how that goes and then when we've done the whole lot, which won't be today, it's a really big hole. And so on. So there's not all that, some of those came out, then we've got one, two, three, four, nine, nine, ten, nine, twelve, then. There's probably about 25 to do. Plus the four I've already done. So that's where we are with those. So the other rollers are laid out on this bit of uh, metal racking which I was going to put in a skip uh, <laughs> and uh, I thought we'll just use that whilst this organ's in bits so they are ready to they've been cleaned and they are ready to be um, painted so I'll do that next so when we've chiseled off the, you chisel off those uh, when the glue's dry those pieces of wood get chiseled off and then we can run over it with a sander well, there's one other thing I'll go back to on that. I don't know whether it's going to come out on the camera. I didn't see this until I uh, went round with the damp cloth. And it's got writing on it. We can see that. Starts, just move my camera a bit. It looks like N. Richardson. And it looks like 360. Two. I wonder if that's the job number, but there's a word there. I'm just going to get that damp cloth out again. I don't want to wipe it off. And I think with a, a still picture and some processing, we might get a better view. So, 362. I didn't think they did job numbers, you see, at this firm. H. Richardson. Anyway, all interesting stuff. Right, so I finished the first dozen holes and they've been trimmed down with the chisel and absolutely smooth against that surface. And bear in mind that this isn't going to look like anything's ever happened to it because by the time those back in, no one's going to see what's underneath. So I'm not going to have to start painting it over or anything. I'll just make sure they're smooth and the ones I've cut off are. So I did the first 12. There are more. Um, is that on camera? No, it's not. That's the first one. So these are fine up to there. But once I've filled in the worst ones, I can see some others that aren't quite as bad. So we've that's probably a little bit too big, so we need to fill that one. So probably do one, two, three, four, five, probably six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I think is about where we're going to be with that because we are putting in bigger screws than came out. Uh, the screws were uh, about half inch number fours and we're putting in 5 8 inch number 6's. So that's where we are with that and I'll carry on with that today. But everything's slow because the glue's got to dry 24 hours, it's got to be done right. So, uh, where did we get with the rollers? Well they've had a coat of paint. I decided to spray this side, having brush painted the other side which took an eternity, so we'll see how this goes. I can't remember whether we mentioned the calico having come. So the calico has been glued onto the underside of the soundboard there. And then I've used the thick linen tape um, to do the edges. 
because otherwise we're in danger of there being a very tiny gap between there and the edge of the soundboard. Because originally, whatever they'd used to cover it, which could have been leather, went right from the back of the pallets, right through to here in one piece. And the part of this part of the soundboard is actually screwed down. Now we didn't want to start to messing about with unscrewing that because we would end up with cracks which will possibly be insurmountable. So um, we've done it this way. And I think that's where we're going to end where we are. So we've still got, oops, wrong way. So we still have the building frame and nothing really added to it. There's one or two little brackets gone on and that's all that I can say for it. So that's the result of 28 hours this week. And I'm still waiting for those pull downs to arrive from the uh, wholesalers and the couple of replacement springs. Um, once we've put this back together and I'll show you that and I'll show you me doing some rebushing of the eyes because the bushings have nearly all fallen out of that um, and then we'll probably move on to um, remaking the trackers possibly. I'll think of something there's plenty to do. So thanks for watching. Is it part eight of a lot of parts to the Fortune Andrews 1865 pipe organ restoration?